they could update it for the needs of the 21st century soldier. What they came up with is the Bangalore Blade. It's never actually been tested yet, and for its very first trial run, I've been invited to the Army National Guard training site at Camp Dawson in West Virginia. A successful demo today would mean the Bangalore Blade could soon be used in action. So everything is riding on today's result for Roland Alford, the man behind the redesign of this weapon. So what we've done is we've designed it so that you've effectively got four shaped charges which fly off. And each one of those is like a, a, a blade or a sword that just chops straight through this in all directions. So first of all, you've, you've cut it. And then the blast effect of the, the explosive itself will then blow it out of the way. So it's a two-stage two approach. It's cut it and then blast it out of the way. Step one is to pack the tube with plastic explosive. The old version had a steel body, but aluminum makes it lighter and easier to carry. Perfect for special operations. How long do you think it would normally take to load the stuff up for an improvised explosive? Um, probably five minutes or, or less. I mean, it depends how much of a hurry you're in. <laughs> but the real design breakthrough is that unlike the old Bangalore torpedo version, it doesn't rely on blast alone to clear the wire. Instead, this one produces cutting blades which shred the wire into pieces. When that goes off, what it does to these sides is it starts forming these into mini projectiles and each one of these will come out as a blade and it's being blown this way. So essentially you've got a, a shape charge going this way, going down, out to the sides. Exactly. So you're cutting in four directions. Absolutely. Next, you fit the detonator, which only takes a few seconds. You put the detonator in there and you close it, and you take the leads, and you wrap them around there. That's perfect for electronic detonation. Exactly. Then, all you have to do is place the blade where you want it. Picture yourself under cover of night, in enemy territory, and then imagine how much longer it would take to cut your way through with wire cutters. No contest. Chris Butler spent six years with Special Operations Forces. Now, as an anti-terrorism specialist, he's been invited to assess the Bangalore Blade's effectiveness. Come from a special operations background, you know, smaller is better, lighter is better. You don't want to be humping this stuff across the desert for days on end. And with this, each man can help share in the load, and he still bring enough um, explosives, and he still bring enough firepower to the mission to, uh, to get the job done. Okay. It's time to put the Bangalore blade through its first ever test. Exactly, the moment of truth. First time in history. For this much explosives, the recommended safe distance is about 50 meters. But with an untried prototype, we're not taking any chances. The best part is they're letting me press the button. Range is hot. You guys ready? Five, four, three, two. One, fire in the hole. <laughs> I love it when things go boom. But remember, blast alone won't make a dent on this high tensile reinforced steel. Coming up, I get to find out what kind of damage the Bangalore blade inflicted on this concertina wire. Is this what you wanted? This is better than I thought. <laughs> but we don't stop there. I want to see what else it can do. 